Hello! In this video I'll try to make a quick review of another NJ laser engraver. This time NJ Master 2 Plus version. Why quick review? Because the machine is almost identical to a Master 2 version. So I just show some differences and show how to install software, because I still got lot of questions about it. As usual start with unboxing. I received that box from European Warehouse, direct from NJ store. As every packet I got from NJ also that one is packed extremely well. And in the box you can find just everything we need to start using the machine, each part on its own place in the sponge. Here we got short manual in 10 different languages, but once again we got many informations about machines, laser models and everything on NJ wiki site, which is really useful and always updated. Then we got here 12 volts 3 amp power supply, 30 watt laser model in my case, because 40 watt is so hot it's always out of stock in European warehouse. All the Neji laser models are tested, so they work with full power for a period of time, but smell from the back tell me that that one was tested on the wood, for sure. Then we got here red protective glasses. Accessory bag where we find 5 pieces of testing paper, 1 piece of testing wood and anodized aluminium, green focusing plate, USB cable, tools, nuts for assembling, zip ties, marker, brush and angles to fix the machine on surface. And of course complete pre-assembled X and Y axis, so assembling of machine will only take us minute or two. I won't make a close look part, because machine is almost identical to Neji Master 2. Simply design which work great. On the rear leg we got motherboard with limit switch, on Y carriage we got Y motor and X limit switch with connector for a laser model. On X axis we just got stepper motor with laser model carriage. I will compare them later with Neji Master 2, but firstly assemble the machine. Ok, now take the Y axis and make sure that the motherboard is from back side. Then take X axis, but before mount it on the screws, plug the laser cable. It's a bit tricky, but you can put cable out of groove to plug it easier. Then attach X axis base plate to a screws and tighten it with 4 nuts. Now install the laser model. Also here we will plug the cable much easier before we mount model on the carriage. Then just slide the laser into clamp and gently tight side screw. And the last thing we need to do is to plug cable to X stepper motor. Now prepare the PC and plug the power supply to a laser and USB cable between the machine and PC. I will show again how to use different softwares for complete beginners. Firstly open the browser and open NJ wiki site. On left side we choose machine you want to use, in my case NJ Master 2 Plus. And here we got a bunch of information about settings, how to use different softwares and so on. Firstly download the driver and install them, then download the last version of NJ software. When we open the software which is bootable so we don't need to install them, machine instantly going to home position. And software already know which type of machine we are using, here we also see the firmware version and laser model temperature. Machine is now ready to use. More about how to use NJ software I already tell in other NJ videos. This time just try to make some CNC cut. So I go to online G code tab and choose one of G code. Set size and then prepare the material. In my case testing paper. Set focus with using green focusing plate and then set laser power to 100% and cutting speed to about 5 milliseconds, which should be enough to cut thick paper. When we set up and prepare everything, click start. I just tell you once again to use protective glasses while work with the laser. Reflective light of a laser can seriously damage our eyes.
Photon Gray Photon, same piece of thick paper, I set 25% laser power and 3 milliseconds burning time. With that settings, photo is nicely engraved and didn't burn through the paper. I get lot of questions about which settings to use for this and that material, but like I always say, best way to get right settings is to make tests on small pieces before you start real job. Let's try now with Lightburn software. You can download from official Lightburn website free trial version or buy license. But when I open them it won't connect with the Neji machine. So I go to Neji wiki and download Neji firmware uploader. Open them and click connect. It instantly recognized machine type and offer us three different firmwares to upload. That firmware only make changes on GRBL microcontroller. So Neji software will work anytime because Neji software communicate with other 8-bit microcontroller on motherboard. I choose first firmware and click on them and the uploader will do what it need to do. After upload is done, close the uploader and open Lightburn again. It still doesn't connect, because we need to change some settings. So into Lightburn click Edit tab and Device settings. We have here few important settings. First one is bound rate, which must be matched with uploaded firmware, so 115,200 bit per second. I try with 2 mil million version, but communicate lost a few time, so I prefer first one. After reset, click OK, close Lightburn and open it again. Lightburn is now connected to the machine, but Y axis work reverse. So click Edit and Machine Settings. Click Read button and then double click to invert Y direction pin invert and Y homing direction invert, so the machine work proper. And don't forget to click Write button. Now again, go to Edit, Device Settings and set S-Max value to 1000, so the laser work with full power. And then change working area to X 255mm and Y axis to 420mm. And that's it, this is all important settings, so the Neji machine is 100% compatible with light burn. Then we can play with speed and acceleration into machine settings to save bunch of time. But if we set that values too high, the machine can start losing steps and the engrave won't be nice. Just for test I draw some square and try to cut out of 5mm plywood. I already say I won't test the laser model in this video. If you want to see what 30W laser can do, check my Neji Max video or Neji 40W laser model to see what 40W model can do. There are many other GRBL softwares which can be used with Neji machines, but I only show you how to use phone app if you don't want to use a PC. Easiest way is to scan the code from real egg to get link to Neji plus wiki site. Don't search from the app into Google store, cause you won't find them. Scroll down and download the Android or iOS application. Then go to file commander and find downloaded file. Click on them to install it. I also need to turn off safety protection, so phone allow to install apps from unknown source. Application is now installed. Plug the power supply into machine and before open the app be sure to turn on Bluetooth and location, otherwise app won't find the machine. Open the app and it will automatically connect really fast. We got here a lot of settings into application, but my phone is a bit smaller, so it's quite hard to set everything. But for some quick job it is just great. It offers us all the functions like PC software, from settings, size, text and so on but don't support any CNC work like DXF or NC reading. That's it about softwares. Now let's make a quick comparison with Neji 2 engraver, because the two models are almost the same, except its working area size. Neji 2 offers us 170 by 170 mm working area while Neji Plus for just $50 more offer us almost 4 times bigger area, which is 255 by 420 mm I was thinking that all the parts is differently designed, so you got enough counter rate to hold the laser that far into air, but the machines is almost identical. Front and rear legs is just the same size, also rails are same size, 40 by 20 mm for Y axis and 20 by 20 mm for X axis. I was quite sure that Y carriage is longer on the Plus version, so the motors make bigger counter rate to a laser model, but the carriage is identical. 
So here's the trick that Plus can handle the laser much further than AJ2 without fall on sight. It's all about stepper motors. On AJ2 motors are 30mm thick, while on AJ Plus is 42mm thick. That means that the motors are more powerful and of course weight more, so they are bigger counterweight to a laser model. But even if the motors are bigger on Plus version, motherboard is still quite the same, also stepper drivers. I was trying to engrave on the end of the x-axis with high speed and acceleration settings, and there was no shaking problem, but I still advise to use a piece of chipboard size about 50 by 60 cm which cover entire machine and working area and screw machine to it with mounting angles, to get machine super stable. There are one more difference between these two machines. Neji 2 come with 20 watt laser model, and it got a bit different X carriage. Neji Plus got clamp type carriage to mount 30 or 40 watt model, while Neji 2 only got holes to mount other models with two screws. But with using 3D printer adapter I designed and you can download from Neji Wiki, we can mount clamp also on old type carriage. Now I show you a few tricks I noticed while testing Neji Plus. Machine is connected with light burn, press home and then move Y axis for 420mm. As we can see here, we still got 20mm free space till the end of Y axis. So if I move the laser model away from the leg by X axis, I can make a move with light burn for additional 20mm by Y axis. So if I just cut a piece of front leg away to make space for the laser model, we don't lose any stability, but get extra 20mm working area by Y axis. Amazing, isn't it? Second one is more a tiny issue than a trick. I noticed that if I move laser till the end of X axis, laser cable like to hook under the carriage, and don't leave carriage till the end. I tried to turn the cable a bit, but it was temporary solution, so I make a tiny upgrade. I disassemble the carriage and just make two holes on top of carriage, so I can fix the cable with a zip tie. I hope Neji will see that and draw another two holes in their cutting files. After that modification cable stay upward and there is no way to hook somewhere. That's pretty much it about Neji Plus. If you want to see more about laser models you are welcome to check my other Neji videos. What can I tell for the end? I think Neji Plus is a great choice of engraver, because it's much cheaper than Neji Max which is huge and take us entire table, but it's just a bit more expensive than Neji 2 which offer us much much smaller working area. So if I don't own any laser I'm quite sure Neji Plus would be my choice. Because I don't got need for a Neji Max which is awesome machine but it really need bunch of space. That's about it for today. For more info, price and order, check below in the video description for the link to Neji store. If you buy via that link, you also support me. So thanks for all, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.